Hey everyone, my name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, could you please subscribe to my channel and take another second and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. I've had a hell of a day today. We've had a major rainstorm here in Ottawa and I had a leak in the ceiling or in the roof and my ceiling caved in. I'll give you a quick show of it. Let's see if you can see it. I'll just turn my camera around. Hopefully you can see it up there. Can you see it? Half of my ceiling, that hole's about three feet by three feet square. I couldn't believe it, to be honest with you. You know, the guy came over about a week ago to fix the roof, and he said there's nothing wrong with the roof. It turned out to be my eave trough was overflowing. I figured it out for myself, by the way. Thank you, Terry G. You're a roofer and a scholar. Thank you very much. But that's not what I'm talking about today. I'm just in my kitchen today. My partner is away. She's up at the cottage, so I decided as I'm going to put my homemade pizza in the oven, I thought I'd make a quick video. And what this video is about, it's about connection. And the loss of connection alcoholics or, addict or addictive people have, the, lo the loss of connection to each other, to other human beings. You know, we have Facebook, we have TikTok, we have Twitch, we have texting, we have cell phones, we have all this media, all this social media, that at one time was supposed to bring us all closer together in life. You know, we could talk to people much more often and check into people's lives and see how they're going, how life is going for them. You know, we can talk to somebody on the other side of the world in a second. On my cell phone, I can call people, you know, long, with no long distance charges all across Canada. But you know, I feel lonely sometimes and I feel loss of connection. Sometimes a simple hello text or how you doing over Facebook Messenger, just doesn't cut it. It really doesn't cut it. Lots of us are missing that personal face-to-face -face connection that we had at one time before all this technology. Then came the pandemic and a new technology got big and that was Zoom. And that's been worse for alcoholics. I think Zoom is a part of carrying the message uh, to alcoholics in recovery, but it lacks that connection. And we were actively drinking alcohol out there. We had no connection to other people, places, or things. We felt like outsiders. And alcoholics in recovery feel that lack of connection. That's why it's always important to reach out and talk to another alcoholic. That's why it's important to meet up for coffee, socialize with like-minded people, in recovery because we all need connection. Did you know if you're married, your life expectancy improves? Did you know if you belong to a church, a social group, a volunteer group, a 12-step group that you're involved with, that your life expectancy grows because of that? Because people are not islands. We all need that connection. And alcoholics, man oh man, struggle with human connection. You know what most of us do when we feel lousy, when we feel the world's against us, hopeful, hopeless, we feel like a victim. Our number one go-to place is this, and I hope you can relate to it, is we isolate. When life isn't going good for us, or our feelings are hurt, or we're angry, or something isn't right with us, the number one thing we do is isolate. And a lot of people isolate. But for alcoholics and people of addiction nature, of addictive nature, isolation is no good. We need to reconnect with our fellows in Alcoholics Anonymous, church groups, whatever it may be. Lack of connection with people is a big deficiency in recovery. And that's, I'm not talking about just people in recovery also. I'm talking about just regular people. You know, a text will not do. Phone them like the old days. Get in your car or on your bike or walk over and pay people a visit because that'll do you more good than it will them. We need to boost our connection. We need to get involved with other people and don't be afraid to get involved. And the more people that you get involved with and have some interaction with, the better you will feel. You won't feel like an outsider. You won't feel like you're different. Like we do, right? You feel like you're different? I know a lot of alcoholics that feel like they're different. Believe me, we're all different. We're, we, we, we suffer from eternal uniqueness. If you can relate to that, you know exactly what I'm talking about because we do that, right? We think we're the only ones that have the issue. We're not, we're not the only ones. But anyways, that is a huge, huge thing. Alcoholism pulled us away from connection with people, 
pulled us away from relationships with people because we didn't have the ability. The only thing that we wanted to do was drink. When we felt hurt, we drank. We didn't reach out. When we felt angry, we drank. We didn't reach out and talk to people about the anger. When we felt sad, we didn't reach out, we just drank. When we had something to share with people, ah, they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear our, our, our joys in our lives. So we drank over that. The more connection we have, the better relationships that we have with people, we will feel more whole. We'll feel more part of the greater picture in our lives. In our, it'll boost our spirituality. We will feel like we have people in our corner and we'll be able to help people. It'll bring out the goodness in us. But isolating and thinking that a text or a message on Facebook or going on, on those Facebook groups about recovery or, or listening to me on YouTube is going to be enough, it's not. And get out there and start participating in our lives, in our work life, in our play life, in our enjoyment times, in our recovery time, in our family time. We need to start participating in that. And the more we do that, the more we'll feel united with the universe and the more we'll feel a part of. So when times get rough, we will be able to share our hurts, our fears, our pain, our sadness with other people, but it'll make us feel more connected to our fellows. A lot of people think that sharing things or being connected to friends and, and family and showing ourselves is, uh, is, a, is, a, is not a good thing. It, it, it's not worth doing, it, it's sell, selling ourselves short. But that's not true. Showing our true self and letting people know who we are will benefit us and we will be the example to other people when they're feeling pain, when they're feeling their pain or going through a rough time, that maybe they'll be able to come up to you. But a lot of people, in my experience, when I show my true self, they relate the most to it. And the reason is, is because it's a connection, people. Alcoholics have a hard time connecting with people. Addicts have a hard time connecting. We always feel we love to go for a swim, but we'll just stay outside, don't go right in there. We won't get involved because for whatever reasons, low self-esteem, nothing to offer. I'm an alcoholic, I got resentment, I got guilt, I got shame, I got all those kind of things. But I'm gonna tell you something. Welcome to the world, welcome to mankind because that is exactly what we all are. We're all imperfect, we all need each other, no one is an island, and do yourself a really big favor. Get involved in your life. If you belong to a church, get involved in that church. If you belong to a volunteer group, get involved in that volunteer group. If you belong in a 12-step group, go to the business meetings, go there. If you belong to Smart Recovery, get involved in the meetings. Start interacting with people. Show them your idea, tell them your idea. Show them your enthusiasm for recovery. Show them your enthusiasm for life. Your ideas, they may not take them, but at least they'll hear them and you'll start feeling that you're a part of, okay? So that's it, folks. I'm gonna start uh, putting this oven on and making this, uh, this pizza here. As you can see, I'm gonna get this pizza ready and I'm gonna have something to eat. It's been a long day. I've been feeling that well also, the boot. I've had a little bit of a cough going on for the last three or four days. I can't believe it, I was sick like about a month ago. I had like a, a cold and I got a cold again. And no, no, it's not COVID. It's not COVID, it's not. Okay, I just wanna thank you for stopping by and watching my video. My name is Terry G. This is my Alcohol Free Life channel. Connection to our fellows is really, really important. It really is. So no one is an island. No one can do it alone. And the more we reach out and we find a few friends that we can lean on, find some people that's in our corner, the better our lives will be and better their lives will be too for knowing you, okay? This is my Alcohol Free Life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Can you take another second and hit that like button? But thank you very much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I love doing these videos. I wanna thank everybody who comments on my videos. A lot of you are having difficulties, but there's a lot of you 
who have who are blah, 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 who are having difficulties, but you're staying sober one day at a time, and that's what it's all about, right? It's not about uh, life's up and downs. It's about coping with life's ups and downs, sober one day at a time. That's what it's about. Because, like I say, I've been in recovery for many years, and I still have crummy lives, like the hole in my roof. You know, that's not a good thing, right? But you know something? And stuff happens to people. It really does, okay? Like I said, I'm Terry G. Thanks for stopping by. Stay safe, stay sober, and I'll see you next week. Thank you. Ciao for now.